Welcome back guys, my name is Dockford Fresho and every week we post videos, cases, topics and tips on how to better take care of your fur babies. But this week, we are not going to talk about any of that. Because this week, we are going to tour you with the newest and the biggest Dockford's Annual Wellness Center, North Edson. So we're now in North Edsa, no? this is Edsa, that is Congressional Avenue and we're right smack at the corner, na right next to Security Bank and Mercury Drive. So you won't miss this. Laki oh, a laking sign. I uh, have nothing to do with the size of the sign, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. We want it to be bright, we want it to be uh, noticeable and also gusto namin makikita kami agad ng mga clients namin uh, because this is a new branch right so nilakihan na it's a two floor uh, clinic and later on we're gonna go inside but yeah. so there are two senorita steps here going up actually tatlo pala siya no? three senorita steps and nag provide kami na uh, ramp for the PWD because we have clients uh, that are on wheelchairs. Doon sa mga previous clinics natin, ayun yung nagiging problema uh, pagpapasok sila. No? So, sabi ko, yung next clinic, we will provide a ramp para meron silang access pakiat papasok doon sa clinic natin. So, nagawa kami ng ano, awning dito oh, that can extend further down to provide additional shade dito sa si area kasi nakita mo yung sunlight to diretso doon siya uh, sisikat so diretso dito sa ila, ano namin sa Salamin so, para lang hindi masyado magasa sa electricity when we need to cool down the the lobby inside naglagay kami ng faucet dito which you can control from the inside to uh, facilitate yung cleaning dito sa labas so nakita nyo High traffic area, daming dumadaan, so every morning we want to make this clean and pleasant for our clients. Parking is actually here. So, meron kaming uh, parking that can actually hold mga 20 to 30 cars uh, at one time. No? Madami. This is STI building. We'll see some construction materials because the clinic is actually 95% finished. No, meron pang 5% that uh, needs to be fixed and completed. So you will see construction materials. Some of our workers are still here inside. So let's go past that. And then, clinic like you parking. Yan. So nakita nyo, may mga ano tayo, stickers tayo ng animals outside because para from the outside, alam mo, it's already a veterinary clinic. I got this idea when I visited Copenhagen 2018. Uh, I saw one clinic there na may ganitong ano, display sa labas sila. So sabi ko, oy, okay yan, parang cool. And then dinagdaga ko na lang ng cats and birds. Yun, so, yun yung pumupunta ng mga clients namin dito. So, uh, nung pag uwi ko dito sa Pilipinas, nung ginawa yung UP Town Center, you noticed, like, meron din kaming ganitong uh, kind of display outside, no? Uh, Ina-play ko na doon. So, sabi ko maganda para sa lahat ng clinics natin. So, if you notice yung interior, uh, ginawa nating dark, no? Kasi, sabi ko doon sa nagagawa, I, I, I want the feel of coming inside a coffee shop. So yung feel ng papasok ka sa loob ng coffee shop and you know, just be open on topics and uh, ideas. Okay, so we have two racks here upon entry. 
we have two racks uh, that will actually showcase yung yung mga products that we actually carry. Gusto namin konti lang yung ano, konti lang yung uh, ilalagay and uh, yung mga dog foods that we carry and the supplies uh, na hindi masyado madami para para hindi magmukhang pet shop. We want to be identified as a, as a veterinary clinic but we want to look like a coffee shop. No? We limited it to uh, the products that we actually provide, you uh, prescribe to our patients, no? yung mga prescription diets. And added some uh, dog food also that we carry and endorse. Yeah. Nutri chunks, no? baka naman. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, and we have uh, an actual, we actually have a restroom here. Kasi iba, napansin ko doon sa iba naming mga clients, sa iba naming mga clients, yung mga clients pagpasok. Ang una tinatanong, do you have a restroom or a place where they can wash their hands? So we are providing it here. So you notice yung signage natin dito sa likod is different from, from the other uh, signages that we did in our previous, in other clinics, no? Stone rock finish. Wala na yung glass, tinanggalan natin. And before, ano yan eh, itim. And because yung uh, background is dark, we changed it to white. And pati yung lettering sa ilalim, we changed it a couple of times actually. It worked. Ito yung pinakamaganda naman. So, uh, noticeable and then the lights are already inside. If you notice in this area, we have a t television for our YouTube videos our clients can watch while they're waiting. So, yan, sa pasok kayo dito sa loob, uh, if Tinaasan ko yung ano. There are actually acrylic covers here. But for the purpose of our discussion today, pinababa ko lang muna. No? Uh, additional protection for the pandemic times. No? If you notice, hindi siya standard. No? Pinataasan natin yung, pinataasan natin yung uh, counter para medyo nakatayo yung staff. No? High chairs are provided here. Ayan. Yung parang uh, feeling of always on the go, always uh, welcoming, and always reassuring. Tama ba yun? So, let's go in. And we added this place, which is actually our pharmacy. No? So, if they need something, if they want to buy, um, you know, products, we, yung staff can actually go inside right away and collect it from here. And this will also um, be the office of uh, the clinic coordinator. All over the area, we, we have ceiling fans installed para niyan eh, additional circulation of air. Plus, kapag nagmamap sila ng floor, madaling matuyo and wala masyadong nakascatter na uh, electric fans all over. No? Weighing scale is here. And we only limited the amount of people that can actually wait here in this lobby uh, to up to four because we have a huge waiting room outside the back uh, of this clinic. You know? So where they can wait and lounge while waiting for their turn to be seen by our veterinarians. So we have two rooms here on my right and my left. These are the two examination rooms. But before anything else, please hit like, subscribe, and bell button so you get updated for whenever we post videos on our YouTube channel. We are on Facebook, Dogford's Retro and Dogford's Animal Wellness Center, so please hit like and see first. Follow us also on Instagram, Dogford's Retro and Dogford's Animal Wellness Centers. Okay? Right. This is our examination room one. After practicing for 20 years, nagkaroon na rin ako ng nameplate. <laughs> sa aking examination room. So come on, come on in. All right. So uh, so we have one uh, chair for for one client. No, one client per pet. Tayo. If you have two pets, we can provide actually another chair here. But we want to limit the amount of people that can actually go inside. No, so yun talaga necessary. Because if ever, meron akong assistant and then uh, me and uh, the pet owner. No. So we have, uh, our system is uh, it's a cloud, so we want to go paperless. We've been trying to achieve that for quite some time. We are going there already. <laughs> and PABX and telephone in every room, actually. And oak finish, moss green look. It's a dark, no? Let's see our 
Soft close. Ano yan? Ginawa. Ginawa ko ginawa. Soft close. <laughs> so, yeah. So, this is our examination room number one. Kapag pumunta kayo dito and you wanna see me, dito kayo. Ah, room number two is actually Doc Betty's room. Go. Alright. It's lighter. It's actually celery yung color. Celery. Uh, so, ganun din. Meron computers. Um, wood. And, but brighter lang colors, no? So, this will be her room. This is where she will see her patients and clients. This area, and cross. This is a cross, no? The symbol of the medical profession. Actually, the Red Cross here. But for Christians, it's a symbol of rejuvenation, of redemption, and uh, of hope. No? So, hopefully, we want to symbolize that as well here in this clinic. And one window, so let's put stainless steel cladding uh, to make it more prominent. Our um, skirting, stainless skirting all over. Uh, yung mga aso kasi, I noticed, no, eh, pag iihi sila, and then they see their reflection, hindi <laughs> sila tinutuloy. So here, you notice, darker yung color, coffee, coffee shop-like yung atmosphere. Uh, but once you go to the treatment area, you will see just. So this one is brighter, lighter, and also, uh, you know, whiter. <laughs> Okay, so this is the imaging room. Can also function as another or an extra examination room. Uh, we see patients. We will see patients here for radiographs and ultrasound, and the laser namin will be here also. And yeah, so this can function as another examination area. Okay, so this is my favorite room of this clinic. So, okay, lang ako dito than seeing patients actually. Doing surgeries, this is the surgery suite. Okay, let's go in. Okay, there you go, so it's well lit. And uh, so we have the surgical table here. We're uh, using the ga in gas machine, ISO, with ventilator. And uh, I use a lot of the oxygenator, or oxygen concentrator to save on Oxygen. To avoid refilling oxygen all the time, oxygen tanks, kasi kailangan yung isa kaysa sa sasakyan dalhin sa refilling stations. Gas machine here, uh, with ventilator. Yung, ano, hindi pa napin nasa setup today, no? But there's a uh, monitor here. This is our surgical light. You can move from left to right. This one is actually autoclavable. So you can include this uh, autoclave machine and kapag kailangan yun na, gagamitin. You can just add it like this. Alright. So, medyo happy ako dito sa surgical table na ito. Not only that it is big, it can actually handle heavier animals. Meron din siyang installed na table dito sa gilid. So we're, we're to put our instruments and uh, uh, so, you know, surgical equipment. Also, this table is actually heated. So, kapag uh, animals are under anesthesia, they lose body heat no? as a side effect of that. Um, so, you sh we usually install pa yung heaters or bear huggers just to keep their temperature warm. This one, with this table, hindi na natin kailangan because it actually has a heater installed here. Plus, not only that, these toys can actually, yeah, it's it's automatic. You can actually lift it and lower it, and if you want to do incline or decline, you may do so with a touch of your fingers. High tech, no? I'm EVR. Baka naman, hindi pa bayad. Also here in this area, kita mo. May mga clients kami gusto nila na nood. Gusto nila na nood sila kapag uh, operahan yung pets nila. Sometimes we allow it, sometimes they, we don't. Kapag medyo medyo angsty yung client, nope. 
because if you will pass on anxiety to us, I don't like that. I want to be relaxed and cool when I do perform the surgeries. Okay, so you can watch procedures from here. Man, uninterrupted. Okay, so on this area, ito yung ating, so before you go inside the surgery, you have to wash, prepare. Mahal yung foot control eh. Pero meron man tayong elbow control. Oops. Yeah. So uh, for you to wash your hands first, prepare. And when you're ready, you can just go inside and do your surgery. Okay, so this one's for that. This is our lab, laboratory. Uh, so, kapag kinalak yung blood, we we'll process it here, 10 to 15 minutes. We can use IDEX and uh, bed scan, no? And we provide, a, we provide co copies of all the results to our patients. No? Of course, better than usual microscope, centrifuge, if, uh, yeah, very essential equipment. And a veterinary practice like, such as this one. Uh, okay, you might be wondering what this one is. Uh, uh, this is a range hood. No, bakit may range hood? Hindi naman tayo magluluto. So, maglalagay pa dito ng tempered glass. Hindi lang umabot because I found out that tempering actually requires 4 to 5 days <laughs> para magawa. And because this is so small, we have to wait for other tempering uh, items. Tama ba yan? For items to be tempered, yung glass for us to be able to join them. So, uh, hindi umabot uh, dito sa shoot ng video natin, but there will be a tempered glass here and an acrylic cover in this area for when we need to do and prepare chemotherapy products. No? So, yeah, no? so, we do a lot of chemo. Oh, wala pa siyang power supply. So, we do a lot of chem chemotherapy and prepare them here so that it will be suctioned out palabas doon. The, the vets who's going to prepare it, the vet or the personnel who's going to prepare the, the, uh, the drugs will not be able to inhale the fumes or, you know, touch them because it's very, it's very, uh, it's very important that you don't. This is actually our um, isolation room. So, meron siyang faucet here, water supply. And right now, may mga gamit na madumi. So, but uh, there's... Uh, May cage dito, and yung air is actually sucked out of this area outside the recho palabas, no? And then you can just wash yung dumi without actually contaminating any of our any of our instruments, any of our items here in the hospital, all just to reduce transfer of diseases. Actually, so this is our uh, treatment table. Para before uh, going yung mga pets natin, patients natin, before going into the surgery, we'll prep them here, shave, wash, whatever that needs to be done can be done here. We can do our dental here as well because there will be another gas machine uh, that will be installed in this area. Uh, all the meds will be yung mga kailangan namin for our in case. This is actually our confinement room. And for animals that need actual, you know, heating and um, post-op monitoring, if they're small enough, pwede natin ilagay dito sa loob ng incubator and those that require actual, actual regulation of body heat and temperature. Okay, so, and yung air cons were actually installed. Uh, in this area, parang ngayon pa lang namin natitest. Na, uh, kaya, we've installed actually uh, two ceiling air conditioner and all the rooms have um, air conditioning units uh, to keep you comfortable while you're here. So uh, our cages are stainless so for easy cleaning. Okay, so ito yung actual uh, ito yung employees entrance. No? Ito yung lockers nila. Uh, and bandy clock will be here. And washer. Uh, we provide kami ng washing machine or air where we can wash soil, towels, and items, materials ng mga, ng mga tao dito and also yung mga pets and patients that we use here in the clinic. Mga ginamit na drapes and uh, yung, yung surgical gowns here. And there's another restroom in this area. Yan, no? Coffee shop team, kinuha na. <laughs> 
I got the idea from one coffee shop, and I used it, applied it here, and yun. So namin tinatapon yung mga dumi ng aso. May mga, may mga ano tayo dyan, may mga pets. No? Sometimes so sila dudumi. Hindi pala sometimes, a lot of times, no? when they're confined. Diyan sila dudumi. So, I installed this. It's actually yung toilet na ito sa banyo. No? I installed this outside. Covered it with stainless steel. Kita mo. So, yung mga dumi, dito na lang itatapon. Yung ihi, yung dumi, you can wash it here. And then you can flush it. Uh, so yung, yung dumi will go to directly to the septic tank. That way we can actually discourage transfer of diseases, no? From one pet to another, from one pet to another human. Okay, let's go out. Let's go out. So this is our waiting area. It's, you know, uh, yung iba kasi, uh, ginagawa natin sa kotse sila naghihintay or do sa ibang clinics natin sa kotse or sa labas talaga. So sabi ko, why don't we provide an area for them where they can wait na open air. So here it is. Tsaka, we will provide of course seating uh, or waiting lounges in this area para mas komportable naman yung paghihintay nila. And there will be, we install tayo ng TV here. So para mas pleasurable naman yung kanilang paghihintay. Worth their time. But wait, there's more. Let's go. May hand-install ko itong... Oh, ma. Wait, nasa tuhod. <laughs> so, pinainstall ko itong hand railings here para to assist us in going up and going down this uh, practice. So, on my left is actually the ensuite toilet and bath for the staff who are actually staying here inside the practice. This will be the office for uh, the HR. And we are going to install here um, a boarding area, no? Parang kennel. So some of the cages are already here. Uh, may mga cages dito and kennels for the clients who want to board their 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 uh, pets here. Pwede yan, no? So give us maybe a couple of weeks, pa, and this is this will all be finished, all be done. So this is our room for the personal. So, ginandahan natin. Nag-provide tayo ng area na pwede silang mabuhay ng maayos. No? So, this, you know, uh, an in-house veterinarian, a vet, can actually stay here. Two of them. Double-decker. Ang lalagay natin dito. And we'll provide an air conditioning unit in this area. Let's go in. Maliit lang. There will be another double bed, uh, another bed here. Air conditioning area. May nakasabit pa. Air condition. Unit will be provided here, microwave, stove, and fridge. So they can cook here also. They can uh, live here comfortably rather than rent somewhere. Dito uh, sa tabi. But this one's free. So our, uh, two of our staff actually will live here in this area. Oh, and grooming area. Grooming area. So let's go in. Uh, so, may itong uh, water heater. Two groomers can actually uh, work here. Hindi naman kami grooming place. We don't do grooming that much, but when when we do, you know, um, well, they provide it as an additional service. Actually, dito yung mga cages for the pets uh, after they're groomed. Dito sila ilalagay or outside. No? Sabi kasi sa bayo, when we applied for a groom, for grooming and boarding, kailangan separate daw yung grooming and yung boarding and yung confinement. Tama naman, no? Makes a lot of sense. So, we built this area dito sa taas. This is our stock room. So, all our stocks are here. Uh, sila yung magpo-provide ng supplies sa apat na clinics. No? No, they're all here. So this will be the area for the supply manager. Sila yung um, magdi-distribute ng mga uh, kailangan ng ibang mga clinics. They will just call here and let's sila na yun. Babato dun sa area. This is our office. Two, uh, wa uh, two large freezers and one, another huge freezer here. Last minute addition ng generators para kung sakaling 
merong power outage, we can function still. No? That's from, uh, this will be my office, our office. Let's go in. So, medyo bago pa siya, hindi pa siya tapos. Pinapabago ko ito. This one's too small. So, pinalaki natin ng kote. Magulo lang, ha? So, when you enter, you can still smell the uh, fresh paint, which I really like. Uh, over here, may yung CCTV natin, so for me to monitor. And yung mga agents na pumupunta para uh, for the call for introducing new products, we can have it here, meetings and small gatherings, no? New York. Because I love New York. Stay there for a couple of years. Really love the place. I wish I could stay there longer. New York doesn't like me. I love it very much. Coffee is very important. So, nag-install kami ng coffee nook in this area. Magulo lang. But, you know, I take coffee three or four times a day. Lalo na pagpuyat the following day. Uh, the, uh, lalo na pagpuyat the day before, coffee, you know, so three or four cups a day uh, is a must. So, I want to show you this. Well, medyo natagal lang kami dito. This is actually double glazed. Nasa EDSA tayo eh. Ang ganyan natin. Wiring, so kita mo yung buses. That's EDSA. And this glass is actually double glazed. Ibig sabihin, makapal siya so that you will reduce the, the noise. See? Nabawas naman. Wow, maingay. Hindi masyado maingay. Maingay. Hindi masyado maingay. Okay. Wala lang. Kasi, uh, office eh. So, gusto nyo mag-usap dito. Gusto nyo mag-meeting. Uh, mag yes, the mission of this practice is actually to provide exceptional pet owner experience in our clinics and to administer the best veterinary care to small animals and pets brought to our clinics. And two, lastly, create an atmosphere of collaboration, teamwork, and responsibilities Ambition naman natin is to be one of the premier veterinary wellness clinics here in the Philippines. No? So, that's our goal. We're still working on that. We're st we are going to keep working on it until we achieve it. Okay? Well, let's go down. Here, they will be confined here. So, nag nagdagdag kami ng additional um, reinforcement para yung sound hindi masyadong maingay from one room to another. Nagdagdag kami ng uh, noise reduction equipment or facilities in between the drywalls. No? Para lang mabawasan yung noise. Magic times. Buti na. Ayan, this one. Pinalagyan ko kasi yung mga tao, laging kumakapit dito. So, pinalagyan ko ng stainless. Also move the stainless here too. Para mas madaling buksan. So, if you notice, the clinic is really bare, still bare. Almost yung essentials tayo yung meron tayo. Ito yung room ni Doc Betty. Tingnan natin, dumating ni yata siya. Doc Betty! Yan! Ayan. Excited ka na ba? Yes! <laughs> Ayan, so we are going to open the practice today. And uh, blessings, so we're waiting for the guests today. Uh, hopefully, maging masaya. Di ba? Yes. Alright. <laughs> this is it. This is it. This is really is it. All right, thank you. <laughs> That's it. I hope you like our tour for today. If you like that, please hit like, subscribe, and bell button so you get updated for every time we post videos on our YouTube channels. We are on Facebook, so follow us there. Dockford's Animal Wellness Center, Dockford's Restaurant. Follow us also on Instagram, Dockford's Restaurant, Dockford's Animal Wellness Center. See you in Dockford's Animal Wellness Center. Bye.